Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about how to use the content type I created in the content type hub. The content type hub is where you should publish all of your content types. And after a while, they'll show up in all the site collections. The publishing from the content type hub, there is no way to control the frequency of that. But it actually took less than 20 minutes this time when I tested it in Office 365. So it's becoming much, much faster. It used to take hours, but now it's down to 20 minutes or so. That's when I tested it at least. So here you see, I didn't create these two in this IT site, but they got subscribed. The entry IT ticket was created here. If I go up another level and look at content type publishing, I can see all the content types that are subscribed. But now I'm going to use that. I'm going to go into site contents, add an app, and I'm going to build that on top of the custom list. So I'm going to call it IT meetings. And I'm going to go into settings for that and make some modifications. First of all, I want it to always show up in the navigation in the quick launch. Yes. And I also want versioning settings on. I think that's always a really good idea. And then I'm going to go into advanced settings and allow management of content types. And then I'm going to find the content type in the Contoso group and select the Contoso meeting. Remove the item. Of course, I'm not removing that from the tenancy or anything. I'm just removing it from this list. And then I'm going to go into the view, the all items view here. I always like to have the edit button at the top. You might not like that, but I do. And then I want to see the title, of course. I want to have the chairperson and I want to have the created. So I want to see the date when that was created. So um, now when I create a new item, you see I get all the fields that I defined in my content type. One thing though that I want to modify is that the Contoso department, that should be pre-filled. We're already in the IT meetings, right? So it's always going to be IT. So I'm going to fill that out here by simply changing the default value on this field as it's represented in this list. So the default value is going to be IT there. So and now when I create a new item, I call that meeting one or IT meeting one. You see it's pre-filled with IT. I'll put myself as the share person. So that concludes my demonstration on how to make a list based on the Contoso meetings content type. Thank you for watching.